Series 5 cards that will move to Series 4. Valkyrie, Super Scroll, Bast, Shuri, Black Panther. January 31st. Series 4 cards that will move to Series 3. Cage, Absorbing Man. All the cards I have. Okay. So, this doesn't change anything about my whaling, I suppose. I can just whale. All right, let's talk about the new Marvel Snap announcement. This announcement dropped only a little bit ago. Uh, they, the, the major announcement is the first ever series drop will be happening on January 31st. And what that means is Valkyrie, Super Scroll, Bast, Fury, and Black Panther are all going down to Series 4. This means, presumably, that they will cost only 3,000 tokens in the collector shop, and they will be available on the collection track in an average of one out of every 40 boxes, just like every other card in Series 4. There's a further announcement that Luke Cage, Absorbing Man, She-Hulk, and Titania are now moving into Series 3, those cards are effectively free at this point, given a large enough time scale. Everyone will get them. Everyone will have them. I actually already do. Um, they when cards drop series, they become 10 times as common in collector's reserves and much cheaper in the token shop. This will happen every month, but this current one is planned for January 31st which is a pretty significantly long time to wait. If you're not going to spend any credits, you might end up running up against the credit cap. Uh, as far as uh, wrinkles in this, Thanos and Galactus will never drop out of Series 5. And if you got a card at its full price, they will give you a little badge for it uh, called a First Edition Badge. Now, the one thing that I do think they said that it, this is kind of a we know there's some issues here, uh, give us a little bit of time statement. So I'm going to read it out in full so you don't just have my summary of my take on it. You also have what they actually said. And here, here is the quote. It says, The token shop has been live for a little while, and we've had some time to experience what we like and don't like about it. We love how it allows players to make progress towards the cards they want most. We don't love that the hottest, newest cards don't feel very accessible to players who haven't completed Series 3. Once players complete Series 3, they start earning 500% more tokens on the collection track, but before then, Series 4 and 5 can feel out of reach. We are starting to experiment with changes we could make to let players who are still progressing through Series 3 feel quicker progress towards the new hotness. It's going to take us a little time to make these changes, but our goal is to make the experience of earning Series 4 and 5 feel much better for folks who haven't completed Series 3. With so many new cards dropping to Series 3 and 4, and more dropping every month. Things are about to get spicy. We can't wait to see what wild new decks everyone will build. Now, to, to clarify, I think that's a little short-sighted. My, my immediate reaction is, it doesn't just suck if you are on, haven't completed the collection track. It sucks even if you have completed the collection track. Uh, that, that, that just kind of is what it is. It's Sag. Uh, I also wanted to say, um, I'm sure there are going to be a ton of people who have what I like to call the student debt reaction, where they're like, oh, well, I spent 6,000 tokens on this, and now I'm getting It's actually like, no, you're not getting Nothing about that is you getting uh, Other people are benefiting. You are not getting away. Uh, that, that, that's going to happen a lot. Uh, by the way, my editor might have to bleep those those swear words out. Please, please do bleep them out if you if you wouldn't mind. Um, I, yeah, you effectively we've known these, this was going to happen. Now we just have a time frame for when these cards will drop. I gotta say, uh, after my most recent few days of experimenting with, I guess, free to play decks. I am a little worried that I think basically there are two archetypes that stand head and shoulders above everything else. One is Silver Surfer, and one is Zabu. 
And I'm not sure how much this alleviates the concerns of pay to win when those cards are A, only purchasable for $10 or 6,000 tokens, and B, probably the best build around cards in the metagame. I'm not sure which one is better. I've even seen them in the same decks. But we were playing a bunch of budget stuff and kind of going nowhere. And then we started playing just budget Zabu. Zabu with one series three card, and it was great. And that's a little worrying. This is obviously a good announcement. It's good. My only worry is they focus their token shop improvements on people who are progressing through series three, which is good. That's who they should focus it on, but they should also probably know that it's not that fun when you're done either. So with the exception of Super Scroll and Valkyrie, which are cards I do not own, these are the cards that are going to get downgraded from either Series 5 to Series 4 or Series 4 to Series 3. Of them, I think the most impactful downgrade by far is Shuri. Uh, I think the most impactful downgrade by far is Shuri. She is probably the best of the Series 5 cards, with the possible exception of Silver Surfer and Zabu. She goes very well with a bunch of Series 3 cards, like Leader and Vision, and Arrow. And she's a... This is just a, a good thing to be downgraded into, into Series 4. Ha having more Shuri is better for everyone, because she is the closest we've had to pay to win since the shop came out. Uh, Bast is another card that is in incredibly powerful, goes very well with Mr. Negative Silver Surfer decks, does a ton of different things. Um, The... The other card that I think is going to affect the metagame heavily, uh, I think Absorbing Man getting downgraded into Series 3 actually means we're going to see a lot more of that Spider-Man, Absorbing Man, Zabu deck. And I also think that She-Hulk getting downgraded into Series 3 will give people a lot of good time to experiment with her. I think there are unexplored avenues with She-Hulk outside of the Death Wave shell, and that she is a much better card than she has been represented as. Uh, as far as... As far as the rest of them, I mean, Luke Cage can go with Hazmat in a, you know, three bro, two build. You go like Hazmat, Wong, Luke Cage. That seems pretty cool. But it does kind of mean you're very reliant on drawing Luke Cage. Uh, Titania is now something that makes the the Red Skull, Infinaut, Dracula Zoo an entirely free-to-play deck after she's downgraded into Series 3. I think that's good. Uh, the And I think Black Panther getting downgraded is likely to be the card that affects the metagame the least. Uh, the, the other cards, like they'll show up. Black Panther and Luke Cage probably going to affect anything the least. Absorbing Man. Or, sorry, Super Scroll is the last card that's getting... Super Scroll and Valkyrie. Valkyrie getting downgraded is good, because she's not worth it at 6k, but she's a very powerful card, and I think she's underrated right now, because people play her in bad decks. People try to put Valkyrie in, like, Cerebro decks, and she's actually just a card that goes in a deck where she does good things, right? And she's, she's underrated right now. I think we might see some growth in the Valkyrie arena. As far as Super Scroll, I think that dude kind of sucks. Uh, probably will continue to suck. RIP to anybody who bought Super Scroll. But I would say the same thing about buying him at 3,000. Don't do that either. Uh, so that has been my little bit of a review of the new announcement by Second Dinner. If you have any comments, feel free to ask me. Uh, I will happily comment on them. I do would like to encourage everyone, uh, I touched on this earlier though, to not complain about the price you bought a card at. Because... The more you complain about a price you bought the card at, the more the harder it makes them, it, the harder it makes it for them to make changes that make this game better for everybody. The more people push back on things that are objectively good for everybody because they're upset at how much money they spent, it, 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 the worse the game gets. Like, I want to be very clear. If you are doing that shit, you are hurting the game. You are hurting the game. And as such, I would encourage you to not. I mean, I want to play them. Wait, what's the background of this one? Huh? Wait, what's the background of this one? This one's the background of Captain America, right? 
But what's the background of this one? What's this? What, what's this one? Spider? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> 